Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauzer Wise, and this is the continuation video of sequencing model. Already, we have seen four different models under sequencing. In this series, we are going to see the fifth model that is processing n jobs through single machine that is one machine. In that, we have four different models. Number one, shortest processing time rule. Number two, weighted shortest processing time rule. Number three, earliest due date rule. And the last one, slack time remaining rule. Okay, so you can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to see the second model that is weighted shortest processing time rule. Now, let's see the problem. See the problem. WSPT that is weighted shortest processing time rule. Okay, look at the problem. Seven jobs, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven are to be processed on a single machine. The processing times, due dates, and importance weights of the jobs are given in the table. Okay. See here we have 7 jobs. Processing time that is TI in minutes they have given. And then due date that is DI in minutes they have given. And then importance weights that is WI also given in the problem. Okay. So these are the informations given in the table. Okay. Now see the additional information. Assuming that. No new jobs arrive thereafter. Okay. So, determine using weighted shortest processing time rule. Number one, optimal sequence. Number two, completion time of the jobs. Number three, mean flow time as well as weighted mean flow time. Okay. Next one, average in process inventory. Then, lateness, mean lateness and maximum lateness. And finally, number of jobs actually late okay see first we need to find out the optimal sequence by using weighted shortest processing time rule for that we need to find out the new value by taking processing time divided by importance weight that is ti divided by wi you will be getting new figure so after finding that based on the least value you can find the optimal sequence let's see the calculation See, we got the new values by doing TI divided by WI. That is processing time divided by importance weights. Okay. 5, 5, 2.67, 4, 7.5, 6.67, 8. Okay. So, in order to find out the optimal sequence, we need to find out the least one first. So, which is the least one? 2.7. So, job 3. You can process this job first. The next least value 4. So, this will be the second order see the next least value is 5 but here job 1 and job 2 got same value no so we have to follow the order so job 1 first next to job 2 okay so 3 and 4 okay then next least value 6.67 this will be the next one so 5 then next least value 7.5 6 and finally 8 so this is the optimal sequence okay first one three and then job four and then job one then job two then job six then job five and finally job seven so this is the optimal sequence see the solution this is the optimal sequence according to WSPT rule okay and I have written the processing time for the respective jobs in order to find out the next calculation see the problem see we have found the optimal sequence. The next one is a completion time of the jobs. Okay. See the solution. Now we are going to find out the completion time of the job. Already I have written processing time of each and every job individually according to the optimal sequence. Okay. For this, just find out the cumulative value to find out the completion time of each and every jobs. First one, 8 plus next one, 8 plus 4, 12. Next, 12 plus 5, 17, 17 plus 10, 27, 27 plus 20, 47, 47 plus 15, 62, 62 plus 8, 70 minutes. Okay, see, 8 plus 12 plus 17 plus 27 plus 47, 62, 
70 minutes respectively. So this is the completion time of jobs. Okay. Look at the problem. The third one is mean flow time as well as weighted mean flow time. Okay. See the solution. See the solution. The next one is mean flow time. For that, just take the total of completion time of each and every job and divided by number of jobs. So you will be getting mean flow time. 243 divided by 7. 34.7 minutes is the mean flow time. The next one is weighted mean flow time. For that, just take the completion time of each and every job and multiply with the respective weights which are given in the problem. And divided by, instead of 7, we need to divide the total of weights. Okay. See the problem. Here they have given important weights. Okay. So, according to the optimal sequence, we have to take the weights and multiply with the completion time of each and every job okay see the solution i have written the weights of the respective jobs okay you have to multiply the weights with the completion time of each and every job okay 3 into 8 1 into 12 1 into 17 2 into 27 3 into 47 2 into 62 and 1 into 70 find out the total divided by total of weights that is 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Okay. See, 442 divided by 13 is equal to 34 minutes. This is the weighted mean flow time. Mean flow time is 34.7 minutes and weighted mean flow time is 34 minutes. Okay. Now, see the problem. See the problem. The next calculation is average in process inventory. Okay. See the solution. See the solution. The next one is a calculation of number of jobs waiting as in process inventory. For that, see here we have written the processing time now according to the optimal sequence. Just multiply with the how many number of jobs waiting as in process inventory. Before we start the first job, seven jobs are waiting. So after completion of this, the next will be six and then five, four, three, two, one. Just multiply this order with the processing time. Okay, and divided by total completion time of the all the jobs. That is 70 minutes. Okay, see the calculation. 7 into 8 minutes, 6 into 4 minutes, 5 into 5 minutes, 4 into 10 minutes, 3 into 20 minutes, and 2 into 15 minutes, and finally 1 into 8 minutes. Divided by total completion time of all the jobs. The last one, 70 minutes, no, 70 minutes. So the answer is 243 divided by 70 is equal to 3.47 jobs. So, this is the number of jobs waiting as in process inventory. Okay. See the next one. Look at the problem. Next, we are going to calculate lateness, mean lateness and maximum lateness. And the last one, number of jobs actually late. Okay. See, in order to find out the lateness of each and every job, just compare the completion time of each and every job according to the optimal sequence with the due date which is given in the problem okay see the solution in order to find out the lateness just compare the completion time of each and every job according to the optimum sequence with the due time that is given in the problem okay for the first one eight completion time is eight no so eight minus due time of job three is 15 minutes then next one is job 4 the completion time is 12 minus due time is for job 4 25 minutes okay in the same way just compare the completion time with due time for each and every job separately in order to find out the lateness okay for the first one 8 minus 15 minus 7 for job 3 there is no lateness because we got minus okay Next one, for job 4, 12 minus 25. So, lateness is minus 13. So, here also no late. The next one, for job 1, 17 minus 15. Okay, here 2 minutes late. Next one, 27 minus 12, 15 minutes late. Next one, 47 minus 40, 7 minutes late. Next 62 minus 30, 32 minutes late. And finally, 70 minus 45, 25 minutes late. Okay, 
so this is the way to find out the lateness for each and every job individually the next one is mean lateness so mean lateness means average just find out the total lateness divided by how many number of jobs seven jobs so you will be getting mean lateness see mean lateness just find out the total of lateness of each and every job and divided by number of jobs that is 7 61 by 7 is equal to 8.71 minutes this is the mean that is average lateness the next one maximum lateness okay so here actually here we have got negative no so these are the positive value and these are the actual lateness okay so here how many jobs 1 2 3 4 5 in that which is the maximum late duration 32 minutes so maximum lateness 32 minutes the last one number of jobs actually late 5 jobs i told you no 1 2 3 4 5 these are the jobs actually late okay so this is the way to solve the problem by using wspt rule okay for other models you can find the playlist link in the description box hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you